despite leading the Super Eagles to, their three, uh, to a 3-1 defeat against uh, Sudan yesterday in the African uh, Cup of Nations qualifier, the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF. Now, not a defeat, but actually a win for Nigeria, I must say. But um, then the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, has sacked the country's national team coach, Stephen Keshi, and his entire technical crew. Keshi, his assistants, Ikesha Romo and Daniel Amokachi, were basically asked to proceed on any course of their choice abroad to be sponsored by the football body. Now, Shwaibu Amodu, the head of the NFF Technical Committee and former coach of the team, has been appointed as a temporary replacement to lead a consortium of coaches for the remaining matches of the Eagles in the qualifiers while the Federation hunts for a foreign coach for the team. President of the NFF, Amadju Penix, said the decision was taken in the best interest of the country's football. Now, the NFF made the announcement after its executive committee meeting, which held shortly after the Nigeria-Sudan match yesterday and lasted into the early hours of Thursday in Abuja. Meanwhile, football fans have been reacting to the sacking. Actually, it's a very big shock for me this morning to come across the news that Ketch has been sacked. But I still, I still strongly believe that he's a very bad coach we have so far in Nigeria. The, his success story still a very big. Uh, he has a very successful story with Nigerian Football Association. But I think that Nigerians should have given him more chance to prove more of his efficiency of leading us to the next level. After all, he won the, he won the Nations Cup for Ox, and as, at the same time, he qualified us for the, uh, the last 2014 World Cup. I think Nigerians would have considered and given him more chance on this qualifying to the end. I don't think he's justifiable. I don't think he's justifiable because Keshi has been performing for Nigeria and uh, he's, uh, he's one of the best coach I think we have so far in Nigeria after Baba Onigbide. And uh, what's really happening in the Nigeria Football Association, I think is lack of good leadership. So I don't think for anything that, I don't know any offense they can at least count or catch it that makes them sack him. So I don't know any offense, they, but Keshi is very, very good tactically to me from my own perspective. If you look at the preceding the sack, you can really understand, even in the Nations Cup, it's not as if, if you watch most of the game, it's technicality. Of his technicality has been a series, it has been a challenge. When we, when we look at the, all the matches, particularly come down to this uh, World Cup, we see that some instances where you're supposed to have acted technically, but it, it has been a technical deficiency all over his. See the matches he just play, and um, if you can look at the whole, it's happening it's, it, as a coach that is supposed to be a, a team manager of the team, is now finding it difficult to manage the team. Why? Because of he and Ike Uche issue, and he's dragging the issue to the extent that he's saying he has closed the door for him. Neither he said no, he has not closed. But I am not surprised. No matter that yesterday they won their game yesterday, but uh, the other side of it. I still want to let you know that even the second of the Keshi, the, the, the NFF, I don't know how to put them. Them too, need, so many of the people there need to be sacked because they, they, they contributed in this issue of our failure of this game. But for Keshi himself, I want to let you know, like what I, I, I believe I discussed with you people yesterday, Keshi is more problem we have in this national team right now. He's even the person who make us smile and he still be the person who make us to be angry. Because the people he's supposed to invite in this competition, he refused to invite them because of they have one problem in order with him, which is not right.